Hi, I'm Sam and welcome to another product review. Today we're going to talk about skin because um, as you know that your skin is like your biggest uh, organ in your body. It absorbs everything and a lot of the things that we talk about, you know, people are really good at eating right but they don't realise what you put on your body has a huge impact. People talk about the big C and it's something that I've known um, from family and lost family and so for me it's an extra reason to be really careful what I put on my skin and I have sensitive skin anyway and so does Harry and um, so um, what we do is we look for products that are as natural as possible what I really advise is really reading the label on everything you buy that that's all I can say is what I do um, and because you'll be shocked with some things that will say they are organic yeah, um, say for instance, if it's food, it could have a lot of sugar in. So it's organic sugar, but still sugar. So if you pile it, you can still get unhealthy using natural or organic. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the best. Now, for me, it's the compromise on <coughs> what is the best that will work on my skin and is as natural as possible. Now, this one, the reason I love this cream, I don't know if you can see it with a camera it's going to seem on it yeah it's a vitamin e cream now i love space nk so i can i could spend a lot of money in space nk trying to find the right product and they're very expensive and um i you know i just i love being there i love the makeup it's fantastic um and so i'm not in london so much at the moment so <coughs> excuse me i've got a tickle i got this from my natural health food shop and when i went in they had a tiny little one <coughs> so sorry and they had a tiny little one and it was only a pound so I got to try it and I tried a few others this is natural and there's no it's got vitamin E and calendula interestingly enough I got a very expensive product that had calendula in and I thought that it didn't agree with my skin so I wanted to sort of try another one because the calendula I thought is it the calendula or is it the product and everything else it's in and at first I was convinced it was calendula, it was like, I don't know, over 50 quid just for the face cream. Anyway, I won't mention what it was called, but it really didn't work for me. Now this one was about 450, I can't believe it, for this huge tub. And my cream that I actually love is this size and it's 80 pounds. So there's a vitamin C cream that I love and I thought, hmm, I'm going to just try this anyway because it was a little pot. I tried the little pot and I used it on my face. It actually works. I was like, oh my God, a cream that is about five pounds for the size of my 80 pound one. So this has got vitamin C in and it also is, it's vegetarian and for vegans is suitable. There's no animal ingredients, no lanolin and no added perfumes and colours and no parabens is not tested on animals. So it is FSC vitamin E cream with calendula and 100 grams was like 485, maybe five pounds um, around that mark and it's working and my skin likes it. So it's fantastic to find something that I can give a thumbs up for that is expensive, is also great for uh, animals, and doesn't have the parabens in and um, yeah just going back to the lesson of what I was trying to say about organic or non-organic this one is not saying it's organic and also to say you're organic for a little manufacturer is a pretty hard it's a tricky decision because it's actually very very expensive to be tested as organic so what I would say is always 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 check the label and see what's in or do your research and find out about the company and the sources they use like my company we use natural sources and to go organic is very very expensive um, and it doesn't always mean it's the best so it's a great great tip I believe to just always read the label and see what's in and know what it is that you like or don't like and what affects your skin and what is really a nasty for you um and, and something that you won't tolerate and get better than what and this is for me have a great day bye